Forgive me, darling, but I must condemn you to an eternity of oblivion. After night will come day, after winter, spring. But the truth will remain unchanged. A man is a predictable, short-lived creature, and therefore, a weak one. Certainly you can come up with many excuses to justify what you're about to do. Whether it's jealousy, boredom, or arrogance, whatever pushes you to take the decisive step. From this very moment, you will never be free of fear. You might think that this path is the easiest one to take, but I'm all too familiar with darkness, so trust me when I say that in time, it will pull you in so deep, you have no other choice but to drown. You have made your decision, and you will pay for it. Now only time will tell if it's already too late for you, Vincent. The question is, what happens next? This is exactly what makes men so weak. In their fleeting vanity, they always seem to fight the wrong demons. Tell me, is this all just a game to you? A source of amusement? Or have you perhaps chosen this path out of necessity? <laughs> How interesting. Whatever it is you seek, I hope it was worth it. Assuming you even had a purpose to begin with. Oh, darling, your thoughts are yet unfledged. <laughs> but then so are you. Before we finally begin, let me ask you this. If you were given a choice between facing reality with all its hardships and being trapped in a pleasant, everlasting dream, what would you do? Well, then so it shall be. <laughs> <laughs> What did she do to me? Am I dead? This doesn't exactly look like purgatory. Where the hell am I? I'll definitely need those. Is anyone there? Um, hello? Thank goodness. I thought I would die here. Can you let me out of this bloody thing? Yeah, but it won't open without a key. Oh, that's just marvelous. This cuckoo bastard really meant it when he said he wanted to get rid of me. Can you get the key from him, pretty please? He should be somewhere near, working on this blasted machine of his. Why did he lock you up in the first place? And why should I let you out? That's not what's important right now. Well, I was looking for some stuff here, and this psycho just hates my guts. There's no other reason. Besides him being crazy, that is. I won't hurt you, don't worry. Actually, I can help you. But you'll have to let me out first. Uh, fine, I'll get you out. Yes, thank you. This lunatic should be somewhere around here. 
you easily recognize him. Look for a huge machine made out of junk, but be careful. He's nuts. <laughs> Do you have a moment? Who are you? I've never seen you before! Did you come from the sky? Did our goddess finally recognize my talent? I... I don't think so. I just want the key that opens that cabinet. Can you give it to me? Then don't waste my precious time! I need to finish the helicopter as soon as possible! But I can't find the rudder. If I find you a rudder, will you give me the key? I'll think about it. I really need this rudder, though. I have some questions. Who's this goddess you were talking about? Are you mad? How can one not know our mighty goddess? The one who created this world. Listen up, you nitwit. I shall tell you the truth that nobody else has the guts to accept. Our madam created this world to test our resolve and choose the most worthy of us to stay by her side and roam the earth for eternity. You'll hear people calling her the witch, but that just proves their narrow-mindedness. Why are you building a helicopter? Rumor has it, our madam lives in a castle, in the skies above. And that's exactly where I'm going to fly after my helicopter is finished. Once I prove myself worthy of her time, I shall become her obedient servant. Do you have any idea how noble my cause is? Oh, of course you don't. You're just an uneducated brat. Now get lost! I'll get going. Off you go. That's the rudder that Weirdo needs for his helicopter. Now I need to figure out how to take it away from this creepy bird. Did you just call me creepy? Excuse me? What's with that look on your face? Scared much? Am I really talking to a bird right now? How rude. First of all, I'm not just a bird. I'm a raven, a proud and clever creature from the Corvidae family, so show some respect. It is not my true form, of course, but I lost my human image a long time ago. Okay, I uh, guess I am talking to birds now. What do you mean, it's not your true form? Ah, I see you're new here. This world slowly changes everyone who ends up here one way or another. It brings out your true nature. I guess I can be considered lucky as I've seen people turning into horrible creatures or ending up disfigured for eternity. I need this rudder that you're holding. Why do you need it? Oh, you're going to give it back to that uncultured fanatic, aren't you? I won't give it to you. Why don't you want to give the rudder to that crazy guy? He called my poetry superficial and pretentious. Can you imagine that? This is what he gets for butchering my art. You better tell him that. Are you sure you can't give me the rudder? Did I stutter? You're not getting it. Unless... Unless... What? Unless you bring me something French, which smells funny. That's weirdly specific. An artist's desires may be rather unconventional. Fine, I'll think of something. You 
tried to steal my cheese. That's unacceptable. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know it was yours. Can I please take it? Oh, he's sorry. You were going to let me starve. Why would you need it anyway? I need it to get the rudder for your helicopter. Really? How am I supposed to believe that? There's a huge bird nearby who has the rudder. I need the cheese so that I can distract it. I won't give my cheese to that shitty self-proclaimed poet. He can eat dirt. What now? Did you finally get my rudder? No, but I found it. Oh, really? Well, where is it then? A huge raven over there has your rudder. Eddie? I knew that pretentious joke of a poet was going to try to interfere with my plan. What are you waiting for? Go get it! You need this rudder. So you go get it yourself. <sighs> you can't rely on anyone these days. Can you? Whatever. Eddie had it coming for him anyway. At last, nice to see that I was saved by a handsome young man. Together we will be invincible. By the way, I'm Nikolai, but you can call me Nick. And you are? Vincent. All right, Vincent. Shall we start? Start what? Our journey to escape this place, obviously. Let's go somewhere nicer, and I'll answer all your questions. I'm sure you have plenty. Sure. Lead the way. How convenient. I hope he didn't need that. Let's get out of here. Now, will you tell me what's going on? I'll try to keep it short. You did something to upset Beatrice, didn't you? Well, the thing is that she's an ancient and powerful witch. So she sent you here, to a place where she throws away stuff she doesn't need, or people she can't stand. It exists in some kind of a weird loophole or whatever, so nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. Also, time works differently here, so nobody ever dies. At least not physically, if you know what I mean. So, people don't age here? It's just your soul that gets wrinkled, not your face. That's not too bad. What happened? Ah, oh, it happens all the time. What do you think this bucket of rocks is here for? The thing is, 
this place brings out the worst in people, and when they give in to their vices, which we all have plenty of, they begin to transform in different ways. Yeah, I already talked to a bird. Is this why you have ghost legs? Bingo! Some of us get used to the changes, but I don't fancy becoming an actual ghost at all. And the worst part is that you can't predict these things. It just happens, or doesn't. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Because I haven't. Isn't that weird? Maybe they're sacrificing them to some pigeon god. But then, why haven't they all died out? Questions, questions. Try to steal some fancy necklace from her. Thought she was just a lonely crone with a fortune, not an actual witch. Why would you do that? I'm a thief. That's what I do. Well, you better not steal anything here. Don't forget what I told you about this world bringing out the worst in people. This is ridiculous. Come on, these are just sheep. How rude. Let's go, Philip. Um, you were saying something about getting out of here. Oh, right. I already told you that nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. But there is, in fact, a way to summon Beatrice and graciously ask her to let us both out. Keep talking. A long time ago, Beatrice left a spell to the first inhabitants of this world, which allowed them to summon her. But humans are greedy bastards, so everybody wanted to have it for themselves. In the end, they tore it into pieces, and each of them took one. Everyone thinks it's just a legend. But I know the spell exists. We just need to get all seven pieces. That's funny! I could have crossed this ravine without the cable car. I keep forgetting that I can fly, you know? No, I don't. All right, so what's the catch? There's no catch! You see, I'm not very well liked here for a completely unknown reason, given my charming nature. Also, my semi-ghost situation keeps getting worse. That's why I need your help. Are you in? I'm in. I knew you were the one to get me out of here. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Does this place have a name or something? Ah, sure. It's called Whateverland. Whatever, what? Whatever land! <laughs>